Alrighty, guys. So when I say third party, or when anybody says third party these days, uh, most of you out there in my uh, circle of viewership are going to think Transformers. And that's, I mean, and, and that's generally what I think of too, as well, uh, when you say it. Um, but tonight we're going to, today we're going to focus on uh, some third party stuff in the Toku section of the world, the uh, specifically Common Rider uh, tonight. Um, and that is with some new stuff from a new company called Repro Rainers Spirit Stage Part 4 Decal Series 01. Um, and this is the instruction sheet you get uh, on how to do it. And it's actually pretty simple. We're going to show you, show you how to do it. But basically, it lets you take. Uh, one of your little stands here for your SHFs or anything else that you're using them for. And take it from this into something like like this uh, with the Kamen Rider Kabuto logo and color um, through these series of, of really nice high-quality decals. And they come in various, uh, with various rider belts. Um, here you can see here's Kamen Rider O's in a monochrome. Uh, here it is in Tatoba. And I also got a color version of Puto Tira, although not uh, not in the, in the monochrome, but... Uh, so it's your choice whether you want to have uh, have your stand look uh, like some of the ones they come printed with uh, a black and white logo, or you can give it uh, some color. So yeah, it's up to you. Um, like I said, we got O's here. We saw Kabuto. Um, I already used the mon. Or here's here's the monochrome Kabuto, just to show them off side by side of what they look like. Um, uh, Ry Ryuki, which I already used the monochrome for on a practice run, just because I want to make sure I knew how to do this before I uh, before I did anything. Uh, and Deno, uh, Wizard, which you can see is the colored one is silver with a gold lining around it. And we have Agato. Agato, Agato. Not sure. So, yeah. Um, since I, I have uh, a Tatoba combo at home that does not have his own specific stand, we're going to go ahead and just for the demo here, use the, uh, use the color. Tataba logo. So in order to apply this, it's, it's, it's a lot like if you ever put like a, a protective uh, screen protector on your iPhone or anything like that. It's a very similar process. You're going to want your stand. Uh, you're going to want the label, an X-Acto knife, uh, some masking tape. Now the instructions say to show use this wide masking tape um, that covers the whole, it's wide enough to cover the whole label at once. Um, I found just as much success using two strips of this to cover it, and honestly, I think this might have a little bit of a benefit, and we'll get into that when we get to that part of the process. Um, uh, some something to squeegee with. I'm just using my uh, expired Zoo Pass here, and um, then, then obviously the instruction sheet, which tells you how to do it, unless you're watching this video to follow along, and uh, some sort of cutting surface. I'm just using an old clipboard here. So what, first off, what you want to start off doing, and this is how I've done it. Now, I'm not sure if you're supposed to cut, instruction-wise, you're supposed to cut all the excess around, because it is pre-cut on, uh, on the sheet as well. What I do is I go ahead and pop out the little hole, just use this exacto knife to get in there, and pop out just the little holes for where the stand is going to go. And it's not, uh, it's not that hard to do. You just kind of use the edge of the knife to peel up the corner, and then pop out just a little bit of material that, that forms where the, where the post hole is going to go. Yeah, I'm stuck to my finger. And you want to make sure that doesn't get stuck to your finger; it'll get stuck under the label, like one of my earlier ones did. Um, so yeah, just find those, pry them up, and out. All right, and once that, and then you want to come come here and like outside of the cut line. Uh, for for the actual label itself, I usually just come over here and cut like a line in the plastic and use that to peel up, leave the actual stand label on there, but peel up the extra sticky stuff from around the out the plastic outside of it, just like that. And then you're going to take your masking tape, and this is basically just a protective layer, just so you don't scratch this up uh, while you are. Uh, while you're applying it, because you're, you're again, you're going to kind of slide this across it as you're putting it across the stand, and to not risk scratching it up, just put a layer of masking tape over it. So you just take some tape here, tear it off, and just put it right, right on, right on the, on the, with the, with the facing up, not on the back, you, because you're going to, you want the sticky side to be under the tape, but just take this, just like this, 
I end up as close to the edge as possible. You don't have to. But then just kind of squeegee this down onto the, just to get a good adherence onto the, uh, onto the surface of that. And then we'll take our other, another piece of tape to cover the top part. And you want to line it up as close to the line as you can. Because if you have a gap, that could cause air bubbles when you're applying it. I found that if you if it overlaps a little bit, that's not the end of the world. It honestly helps a little bit in the... Uh, I actually like a little bit of overlap because it helps with the uh, removal process when you get to the end stage. So again, just squeeze that, maybe come at the tape just to make sure it gets a good seal there up against the other piece of tape. Just like that. And then you cut away the excess tape. Uh, just from around the plastic. Real easy. And peel all that up. Oop. And yeah, it doesn't matter if that comes out So go ahead and take care of that. You're going to cut away under here now that we've got this done. You're going to cut up to the corners here. Um, did I already cut on that? I feel like something is... Something didn't line up right. Okay, there, yeah, so just come over here, cut along the edges of the... Uh, I mean, usually I cut these before I put the tape on, but cut along the edges of the, uh, the decal. Like that, so you're starting right at the decal. I do think this is a little easier if you cut up to the edge of the decal before you put the tape on, because it's easier to see where you're cutting, and then it's easier to see when you're cutting the tape off exactly where that line is. But it's actually, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious here where the edge of the belt stops, so cut that off. Oh, got a little extra tape there. Ultimately, a little extra is not going to hurt you or harm you when you're doing this. And then once that's gone, here's where we're going to actually apply the thing. So uh, according to the instructions, you want to make sure that you uh, use your eyesight to align the edges of the decal with the top edge of the stand. So uh, that's actually good advice. Unless you're Daredevil or Matt Murdock or something, I don't want to catch any of you guys trying to smell your way in or just hear your way right up to the edge of the, of the decal. Uh, use your eyesight. All right. So we'll take this. Extra bit of plastic here. Let's get that off. And then we uh, pull the tape up. And if it adhered correctly, you should see the, uh, yeah, you'll see the decal start to stick to the tape a little bit. And you just want to bring up this front edge just a little bit. And then take this edge and line it up with the edge of the stand here. There is a little bit of excess top and bottom, but... Uh, just line it up as best you can. Yeah, like that. And then what you do is you just take your, your, once you get that stuck in place, you just take your squeegee and just kind of, like said, just like if you put it on your iPhone or whatever, just kind of squeegee the, the cover down and across. Vigorously, vigorous squeegeeing. Um, you've probably seen me mentioning that on my Twitter feed, and this is what I was referring to. But just all the way across. You can go back and you can do it fast or slow. I, I, I like to do it, just, just give it a couple of rubs while you're doing it. Pull it all the way off the edge, just like that. Give it one last good squeegee here. And this is why I like having the overlapping tape here, because when you go to take this off, uh, if you've got any excess uh, any excess material that's hanging over the edge, it wants to come up with the masking tape. Like you'll end up starting to peel off the label. But if you do, if you have a little bit of an overlap here, 
it lets you come up over here and kind of lift up from the middle. Which in, So instead of peeling from the edge where you're going to end up peeling the label, you're peeling from the middle where it's already adhered. And then it's really easy to just pull this up without uh, stressing or ripping anything. Like you see, if you, if you look on my, on my Kabuto thing, right here is where I didn't have the lines right together. And I ended up kind of damaging a little bit of the chrome there, uh, trying to peel up the tape. But if you have a little bit of overlap there, it comes right off. Again, just start over here. And peel down. And there you go, look at that. Uh, there is a Kamen Rider O's stand. Uh, and then you just, uh, if the holes don't line up quite right, just trim them out a little bit. But these actually lined up pretty well uh, on the stand. Uh, if there's any excess hanging over, you can either trim that off or just fold it down. I found it, it's, it's quite adherent and very sticky. So just, uh, just kind of rubbing down the edges gets rid of all those sticky edges. And there you have uh, a nice uh, stand for your, in this case, Kamen Rider O's. Uh, that was just a plain stand before. Uh, really nice. Uh, I don't know when they're going to start uh, making these available for sale, but uh, he's at the Rainer at on Twitter uh, for Repro Rainer labels. And uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed. I, I finally got some specific stands for a lot of my SHFs that I didn't have before. So yeah, check those out. And like I said, you've got the option of uh, if you just want to have like the, the the drawn stands that aren't colored in. Like so here, here's you could do that as well. It's really up to you, but real easy, uh, not too hard, and, and a nice little quality product, and a nice way to enhance your uh, your common rider collection.